I, I, this is the thing, and um, I, I feel like I want to explain it in a different way because then it would maybe kind of help somebody to be able to to comprehend it more or something. But like, if you think of yourself as um, you know a, a, a person, and you are actually on another planet, you're not on this planet. You are. Uh, you've got a mom. You've got you know, regular family structure, and you are going through your whole life preparing for something. You're preparing, it is like you're in boot camp for your whole life, getting ready for something. And you are being taught so many things and you're understanding that's what your whole thing, your whole existence is about. And then the time comes. So you go in and you get in your little space suit and you go through the tunnel of light and you get born and you come in to this existence and this existence starts telling you that that's the only existence there's nothing else out there and then you say wait a minute i remember i no, there's stuff out there no that's the only crazy people think that we've got medication for it though don't worry oh i don't know that's something right there sometimes like i'll all of a sudden see something my eyes are so bad lately. Oh my God, it's horrible. Um, but I did find the t-shirt I wanted in the dark by just using touch this morning. All, it was totally black in there and I didn't want to turn on the lights and, uh, and wake up Stella. So I challenge myself all the time like this. So I was going through all my shirts trying to feel. And then if one felt like it, I'd have to go down and feel all the other parts and stuff. And... I don't know, it's just interesting if you start trying to challenge yourself like that, even if you don't need to. Um, you know, to me, I guess I'm a little bit more of a Girl Scout, let's be prepared. But anyways, it's interesting. So uh, you come and you are born and you are um, living your life and you have all of this information that keeps telling you this is all there is this is all there is you need to do this this and this this is what's expected of you this is uh what the good people do the bad people do this and what even gets more complicated is while they're telling you don't be a bad person the bad people do this they are also uh putting the bad people on pedestals and letting them have more power you know so it's kind of like if you were a good person you just get trampled and uh, but you know if you think about it the masters they are the warriors of the you know they're that more of a warrior take over the world kind of thing so of course you know we're going to see that in their their um philosophies of teachings you know when we see how these people are you have to do this you have to do that like what the hell like people have become like militant, crazy people. It's like, what in the hell? I, I mean, at this point, it's hard to even remember when this happened. <laughs> like when you go back and you start trying to look, you're like, well, wait, it was a little like that. Then. Well, was it? they were doing it like that, you know? It's all been building and building, but man. But you think like that is the their kind of um, way of living, their philosophy of divide and conquer. So you go when you're born and you're all caught up in this world. And then what even gets even creepier is if when you die, you don't get to go back to where your family is. You get met by uh, the gatekeepers and the gatekeepers tell you, you're not ready. No, you, you, let's go in here and let's have a look at this. Let's sit down and look at your life together and uh, go over it, point out all of the things that you did wrong, tell you what you've got to come back in and do right, then uh, born you again back in there, and you're right back in this same system, the same thing of being told this is all there is. And But what is the point? What is the purpose? Why do they keep doing this? Well, for one thing, it is the humans had to be contained. They had to be controlled until they could learn and evolve. I mean, just look at 
what what humans have done with nuclear weapons and stuff like we would have already destroyed ourselves i've heard um about uh ships and stuff coming and going over over nuclear plants and shutting them down i heard that when they shot the missile to uh take out hawaii whatever a couple years back that um it was the space people whatever you want to call them that uh, shot down the missile, that they, every time that anything goes on about nuclear stuff, that they are always the one who is like, run in and save the day. Because humans, I mean, we can see how they're still in this warring, people warring with each other all the time, fighting over what? What is everybody fighting over? Yeah, we wanna break free from their system, and we can break free from their system, we do it by pulling ourselves out of it. Stop, uh, you know, it's gonna, it's, it's going slowly. So, you know, for your own sanity, <laughs> because it is, it's, it's self-destructing, but it's so slow. But, you know, like, if I was a mom, well, I'm a mom, but my kids are grown, but if I was a mom now who was having to make the choice of her education system, there's no way I would send my kids back to school take them right out of that system. There's no, what is the point of this piece of paper that they say you graduated their uh, education system, which we already know is all completely indoctrinated and, and programming is nothing about education. But you get a piece of paper, pull out of that system. Who needs it? We don't need it. I teach my kid how to have skills. I'll teach my kid how to survive in the world how to take care of themselves. They don't need to learn how to come in and be in the government system. They need to learn how to go out and take care of themselves and live their life free as a human should be able to. But, you know, I mean, we're seeing right now, not everybody's ready for that. Uh, not everybody's been trained for that. Not everybody is prepared for that. So many people just want to just latch on to the teat of the government and stay, you know, hold me, please. I'm not ready for this. That is, you know, their, their, uh, consciousness is, is being so guided by fear. I mean, it's pretty, it makes so much sense when you think about the controllers using fear to get, to manage these people. I mean, it makes total sense because, uh, consciousness that doesn't know who and what it is is going to be anxious and fearful like so yeah and to just keep you know building that up and building that up to you know we've got the point of these people are in total phobic and totally freaked out that don't even have any logic anymore and go around weighing 400 pounds wearing this like that makes any sense whatsoever you know what we needed to be doing as soon as there was any kind of illness immediately uh, start taking care of yourself. Start taking your health serious. Start focusing on your health. And but people just wanted to go in and start yelling at each other. Well, you need a wearing You need a wearing You know, it was like you saw all the footage. These freaking overweight women. You know, menopausal, losing their damn mind screaming at people saying i hope your kids die and stuff it's like oh my god that's the kind of stuff that you will have to face about yourself that's right there you know you had that choice you made a choice you went with fear you hurt somebody else you put that energy out there you it's like focused energy is um it is kind of like, uh, think about it, you just walked up and you just spit in somebody's face and slapped them. Focus energy is that, um, that kind of, it has that much strength. You know, I don't know this woman, I mean, she's pretty angry, but still her, her energy uh, and her being disconnected from her energy and feeling okay with doing that kind of stuff, attacking somebody like that, somebody you don't even know, that's the part that needs to grow and heal and connect. You know, not even to get to the part about, 
you know, she's ever way blaming little children for not wearing these that she could die. It was like, oh my God, there was so many of those though. So many of those footage I saw on Twitter. I was like, what in the hell is wrong with people? It is, it's just, it's crazy. And, um, oh, and I, another thing too, after I had just talked about in that show where uh, this person, uh, this interaction with, because they were famous and this drunk person came and started trying to force themselves on them, I guess, like, you know, like, you will listen to me and be my friend. And this guy's like, no, leave me alone. I'm having a beer. And, you know, this, that kind of person, they're all over the place. You know, like you're famous. So therefore, uh, if I'm your fan, you better be mine or something. I'm not really sure how it works in here. But I, after I just talked about that, then I saw, um, that girl Millie off of Stranger Things. She's a little kid, man. And somebody was following her around the store, videotaping her. And she kept saying, will you please stop? You're making me very uncomfortable. And the person wouldn't stop. Like, you, are you are, I don't understand how people do not, have, like, do you not understand uh, boundaries? Do you not understand being respectful to people? Have people just lost all their integrity? There's just like no class. There's no, like nobody just, nobody cares. This is so much idiocracy that we are living right now. So much, who, when I watched that movie, I thought, oh my God, that's so embarrassing. That is horrible. How could anyone think that's where we would end up? But look at, we are there. And that movie's not that fucking old. And that, it, it comes from within. I don't know how I say it and say it and say it and try and point it out and point it out and give these different scenarios. But your behavior is coming from within you. And when you are lashing out and treating people bad, there's there's a um, a debt you're acquiring for doing that. You can't, it's not free. You don't get to treat people bad for free. And things you do in this life will definitely follow you to the next. There's no getting away with it. There's no getting away from it. There's no quick fix. There is no, oh, well, you know, I'll just go to hell and burn. It, no big deal. That's not how it works. You're gonna, your hell will be going in life after life and living in a hell, a hellacious experience, cleaning up your crap that you've done. <laughs> That's how it works. So, you know, you really need to be thinking about it. And, um, I just, I wish that people could really understand that you are, the, there's something inside of you. There's someone inside of you. It's you. You are an expression of yourself. But the inner being, the one that is usually trying to be protected by all these people who have built a fortress around their inner being, the inner being is the one that's there to guide you. You, you know, when you want to sit there and go, well, it, it will tell you, go do this or go do that. Don't do that. Don't do this. You should do that. Don't forget this. Don't forget that. Do the, you know, it's, it's all the time talking to you that's why I said it's kind of like you know kind of like I'm a puppet to my higher self like they're always always talking to you they're always giving you information but if you're cut off if you're not listening you're not tuned in you're caught up in this three-dimensional illusion you're acting and reacting to everything around you instead of going internal and to uh, focus on yourself and be directed and connect with yourself, then you are just, you're very much trapped in this lower vibration, but it is a conscious unawareness. It's, it's, a, it's consciousness, it's the soul being cut off from itself. So that is this expansion that is happening. It, it is the awareness of that connection. It is the awareness, it changes how you see things around you. When you have that connection, you start to see things in a lot more expansive way. So, you know, just 
just everything that you you go through your experience try and look a little deeper into it try and stand back from every situation look at it as a bigger picture just try and see things in a lot more broader sense don't get caught up in the in the details the three-dimensional you know just like what i said like i i would cringe at myself all the time if i even saw a video like a birthday party or something back when my kids were i see myself oh my god I wouldn't look away. I cannot. And to get to this point, and, and it was all nitpicking, you know, nitpick this, nitpick that. I can see myself as a whole now and appreciate myself and love myself, but I had to step back. I had to get out of that nitpicking like, oh yeah, well, I wish my nose was, you know, there's a lot of things. Yeah. I wish my face was not, you know, smushed in by a fucking chair. But, um, there's, you just have to get to, uh, a place of being able to step back and just see things in a bigger, broader way. And it will just start opening things up for you. Hopefully. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye.